Hi, and welcome to week five, hard to believe, of these projects. Um, we're turning our attention this week from uh, collecting information and learning and becoming deep experts on our topic to how we're going to share what we've learned to this point. Um, if things are going perfectly, then your child may continue to be interested in this and continue to research it far beyond when the actual classroom due dates uh, come and go. Um, but at this point, we're going to make a, a challenging transition from looking for information to how we're going to share it. Um, on this website, um, on this page, just to the left of this, you'll see a rubric I created for the project piece. The other component of this, of course, is the process. And I'll be looking in their curiosity journals for information about, um, or just evidence about how their process went. Um, we'll be doing some reflection pieces in the journal, um, and that will all happen, or mostly happen, at school. But the project piece is going to happen mostly at home, so I want to give you some information on that. There'll be two things. Well, first, the first decision your children need to make will be um, whether they want to share their project digitally, like a video or um, creating a PowerPoint or Google presentation um, or something like that. Um, or physically with a poster board or a model with some note cards, that kind of thing. Um, after they've made that decision, we in class will be using some various planners, depending on, on which type of presentation they want to do, to help them get started with pencil and paper and planning out their presentation. If it's a, if it's a PowerPoint, then they'll, they'll have a piece of paper with the various squares to show the slides, and they'll start to plan out what they want in each one. And, what order they'll be in, and if it's, a, if it's a poster board or something, then I'll actually have them write out where pictures are going to go, and where's the title going to go, and where's their information going to go. Um, and once that plan is done, then, then the step after that will be to actually begin the project. And there'll be two ways I'll be assessing it. You can see them to the, to the left of this uh, video um, in the rubric I created. Um, one of them is the information. I'll be looking that their information is uh, the facts and the information they learned is organized and clear, um, and that I can tell that they have, I can tell where they got their information. Um, it's important at, in grade three that children learn the, um, the, that it's necessary to cite your sources, to say this information came from somewhere. How they cite it um, is not as important at this stage. So they don't need to go exact MLA format on citing their sources, but just say, I got this information from nationalgeographic.com, or here's the title of the book I, I found this fact in. Um, the information will, as I mentioned a minute ago, be need to be organized and in a way that's clear. Um, and, and, um, yeah, something, something that, that, that stays focused on their, on their main topic as much as possible. Um, the second piece of this will, piece of their presentation will be the sharing of their curiosity story, which is mostly written in their curiosity journal already. There'll be three main pieces of that. One of them is, um, the beginning. How did their, how did they get their idea? How did, their, how, did, how did this idea start, or who, how did they get inspired to, to begin looking into this? The second piece will be, of course, the middle, which is all the highs and lows, the things that were challenging, the things that were exciting, um, and who, who they got help from. Um, and then the third and final piece will be, how did it end? Were they, are they still interested and excited about it, and why? Um, or, or have they lost interest? Um, did their research take them in new directions where they became interested in something else as a result of researching this first topic? So those will be the two pieces on their final presentation, whether it's on the computer or it's, it's on a board, is the information that they found and um, some type of display. It could be a paragraph or a mind map or a timeline that shows um, the, the story of their learning for these past six weeks. Um, and then... That's, that's about it for this week. This week's short, so you know I'm not expecting a lot of, of things to get done aside from maybe their plan getting finished. Um, some of the kids are very enthusiastic, and some have even said that they have already begun their presentations on Google Presentation or working on their poster board at home. That's fine. If, you're just, if your child hasn't, that's okay. Um, as, I, as I do the math, it seems to me like we have about 12 days or so to work on this, and that includes four days, which are weekends, which depending on how busy your child is on the weekend or your your own uh, policy on homework on the weekends, um, that's a great time to use. Um, that could also be a time to take a break from the project if they need it. Um, so in class on Wednesday, um, I will be 
um, getting the kids started on their plan, and then they'll be taking these home with them. They'll be in their curiosity journals, and they should be encouraged to continue to work on that. As you can see from the main page, that's um, homework for Wednesday, and it will also be likely be homework for Thursday and, and into the weekend. And then um, whenever they're ready, they can start actually work, working on their project. Your kids will need help with these projects, um, but the projects in the end, the product needs to be theirs. They need to be something that they stand next to and are experts, enthusiastic experts on. That, that's our goal. Um, how much they've learned on their topic or how little is, is really secondary to the fact that they've learned. Um, and, and learning about specific information about their topic is fun and interesting and important, but not as important as them learning how they learn and what excites them and what make, uh, what's challenging um, about, about the learning process. So we'll be spending a lot of time in class discussing that and reflecting on that. Um, the process piece as far as assessment of that, um, I will be using your, their curiosity journals and, and likely be um, having interviews with each kid to learn more about um, their process of learning and, and how they've grown as a result of this project as um, self-starting learners. So. Yeah, a big week, um, short week, but a, but a big transition. Um, keep in touch. Let me know if you have questions and or if your, your child does. Uh, let, let me know how I can support them through this. Um, and um, keep the, probably what, what I'll be doing is asking for the projects to be turned in on the 25th uh, so that we can have one day to take a look at them and do some final adjustments or tweaks or make sure everything's working. Um, and then make sure you keep the 26th in the afternoon, about 1.30 on, open so that you can come on in and, and check out our Curiosity Showcase. I'm really looking forward to that day. Uh, it's been a lot of work, and um, the kids are getting excited about that. So thank you so much for all your support and for listening to this long, rambling uh, video. Um, couldn't, couldn't do this project without you, uh, and, and just really, really appreciate your support on many levels. So thanks so much, and keep in touch.